Hi, I'm Glenn, City Valley Fishing Field Team, COAF Field Team on YouTube. And this round, well, we've got our interest piked, peaked. Hmm. Yesterday we posted a YouTube Shorts video that has these trout just tearing up uh, some corn as well as some power bait. And they were kind of edging more to corn versus power bait. And then uh, we had a, a comment where it was mentioned that the corn isn't digestible. And I do recall we're here in the state of Texas, just check things and bottom line, we're still good to go from the legality of corn. It's still legal to use, but just because something's legal doesn't mean it's legal everywhere. I decided to just check things out. Um, little Google search, little YouTube search, citing some sources and whatnot. And it was pretty interesting that uh, it looks like discussions happened many times before. And what's even more interesting is, is everything seems to revolve around one particular study that was done back in 1992. So let me take you there to some of the findings that yours truly found. Started looking at different results. And here you can see some from the Ice Shanty, from Ozark Anglers. There's some videos, something from iFishNet. And then another one from Fishing Duo, which we'll have to speak to that one. This was a pretty good article. So we'll speak to that here shortly. And then when we looked at YouTube, there was only really one video, and it's one that I follow, Catfish and Carp. He's got some really good, really good videos. Is that was the only one that talked of corn and is it harmful or basically answering that question? And he does a real good job answering the mail, basically. Everything else is talking about here. Here's here's some great information, tips on using corn for catching trout. Going to this one article is fishing with corn illegal, the answer for all 50 states. Okay, and then when you click on it, it takes you to this site, is fishing with corn illegal, the answer for all 50 states. I did like this one because he's got some pretty good findings and did check up on, on a couple of the states just to see, and guess what? He's got some good info. <laughs> so yes, it could be legal. It's legal to fish with corn on a hook, but there's also some kind of wishy-washy area when it comes to chumming. What he did then was he interprets the state law, so it looks like he went right into the different regulations and whatnot and found out there's only one state. Is it legal to use corn as bait? Went over to Rhode Island's information and found it. It's on their e-regulations, general information section. And look at that. It's item number four right here. Using corn for bait in any designated trout waters. So it's got to be designated trout waters. Else uh, you can't do it. A couple of things that I noticed, and it was mentioned in Catfish and Carp's video, how some regulations had changed recently. I think he mentioned something about Utah, I think. So I checked out Utah. They were doing a survey in Utah and basically checking to see what fishermen thought of uh, when it comes to using corn for fishing bait. And it looks like it got approved because now it's one of the legal states, at least as of when this article was written. Now, when it comes to chumming, there's several states that call it out where, yes, you can. And then there's several states that say, no, you can't. Other than that, everything else is not clearly defined. Initially, he's got some footnotes right about here. Illegal to chum in Bristol Bay, and that applies to Alaska. And then illegal in Salton Sea. So that's right up here for California. Legal in Lake Mead, that's Nevada. And then legal in Utah, Lake Powell. And I think the reason why he mentioned that is there is a difference when you're fishing with corn. It's just a few versus throwing a, a whole bunch of chum or corn into the water. And maybe that might be messing up things. And maybe that's one of the reasons why they made them illegal in some places. So anyways, just keep that in your back pocket. And I like also what he says. Let's see. This is the assumed legality. So legal to use corn as bait. It's assumed in these states. And then legally use corn as chum, it's assumed in these states because it doesn't specifically define it as well. And then, of course, 
like I was saying, is disclaimer. These lists are based on our best interpretations of the regulations for each state. We recommend that you always check your local regulations before fishing, and if in doubt, call your Fish and Wildlife Department to confirm. It's a good thing to keep in your back pocket because, like in the case of Utah, uh, things changed, and it looked like it went from no to yes. So that could happen, and we don't know exactly when this article was published. So do check before you, you go. But this what's nice about this is you can kind of flip through the, these lists and quickly see, oh, like in our case, Texas. It says legal. So right off the bat, when I go start looking for the regulations, I'm going to look specifically where it's defining it specifically. It's okay or whatnot or assumed legal or whatnot. We're also seeing that there's some specific state publications that are saying use corn suggesting corn here's some tips on corns hopefully those are the states that say that it's legal anyways <laughs> anyways because that, that wouldn't be a good thing going back to these different search page results first result is is corn killing our fish and it's coming from iShanty.com. so i went and checked it out and you can see how one person saying no you can't other people are saying it doesn't digest other people say it's okay then right in the middle of it, it references, let's see if I can find it. Okay, right over here, this individual is talking about some studies about fish hatchery, rainbow trout, and the range of uh, water temperatures. Not really definitive answer, and again, it's a thread, it's online, so a lot of folks have their opinions or understandings of what is correct and what isn't. Went on to this next one, which is, does corn kill trout? And this was a good one because this is where I got wind of this study from Pennsylvania. Actually, I couldn't tell if it was Pennsylvania. I learned later in my research. Right here, a commission fisheries biologist, Tom Bender, at the Benner Spring Fish Research Station conducted a study. And it goes into detail. That was where I got wind of this for the first time about at least something that was cited so it wasn't just someone's opinion or someone's understanding or misunderstanding went on to the next result and we caught wind of catfish and carp and that's where we looked in there in more detail and where we learned about also again this study that's also being cited in that video and then we went on to ifish net does corn kill trout and truth or urban myth right off the bat someone's asking questions and it looks like it you know back and forth this or that and whatnot here's one where someone mentions crane prairie where they found something well i looked up crane prairie didn't really find anything saying a study was done um, maybe it's buried or archived somewhere just like that one from benner springs on the next item, real fishing adventures to corn or not to corn. And this one is an individual who I guess he posts information and he's got uh, some readers and I guess he was just reiterating getting slammed for using corn. And he went ahead and reached out to other folks. He got something from his local biologist that referred him to this url down here and when you click on it it gets you this it doesn't exist anymore the next item was is fishing with corn illegal and that's the one i just mentioned earlier and that was a very good one so on to stripers online so i was wondering why, why stripers online is specifically corn and using it to fish it turns out it was when they're off topic threads or, or section freshwater fishing and in there i see again where they're citing the old site that was mentioned in the earlier post and i click on it and again it's not there and then i tried okay well let's try going to a, one of the U root folders and here's where i learned this is an archive one that pennsylvania fish and boat commission used to use and now it's pointing you to this fishandboat.com as their main website so you go there and before it was just pennsylvania fish commission and now it's pennsylvania fish and boat commission and they upgraded things and reorganized and set up stuff to be able to to handle this new organization and they set up a new web page and so maybe that's why it's archived okay so after some digging around i was able to find it so it's archived, Pennsylvania Fish and Boat Commission Q&A, corn for bait chumming. Question, 
that in the last few years I've seen more and more people using corn for bait. But it seems as if they are now being so bold as to sow the stream with handfuls at a time before casting their lines. I've always had the understanding corn cannot be digested by the trout and they would die from ingesting it. If this is the case, is it illegal to sow corn? Commissioned fisheries biologist Tom Bender at our Benner Spring Research Station conducted a study in 1992 that examined the impact of corn on trout. For the study, two groups of hatchery rainbow trout were held in separate tanks and tested for 54 days. In one tank, 20 rainbow trout. Average size, 8.3 inches. Were fed a diet of whole kernel corn. In the second tank, 20 rainbow trout of the same size were fed a standard trout pellet diet. During the 54-day study period, no mortalities occurred from the trout of either study group. However, study results did show that the trout fed with a corn diet did not digest the corn particularly well. The growth observed by the corn-fed trout during the study period was only about half of that observed from the trout that were fed the standard trout pellet diet. The conclusion from the study was that there appears to be little reason of concern about the short-term health hazards for rainbow trout when whole kernel corn is used for bait. Although there are better diets for trout than whole kernel corn, the study confirms that mortality does not occur when trout ingest whole kernel corn. You also asked about the practice of anglers using handfuls of corn to attract fish, a practice sometimes called chumming. For waters managed under statewide regulations, chumming with corn or other bait to attract fish would be considered a legal practice, providing that anglers don't get carried away and liberally coat the bottom of the stream with corn. If this were the case, then it could be considered littering. The commission does not recommend chumming. Okay, so all for now. Until next time, we'll catch y'all later. And good luck and good fishing.